Hi, this is Nicholas and it's about five to two on Saturday morning and it's very late um, or early depending on your point of view and this is a very short video uh, describing the work that I've done this evening uh, in order to get a Python editor to work with Touch Develop which will be the official website for writing code for the BBC Microbit. Um, it's important to note that you don't have to use Touch Develop in order to program the micro bit using Python. You can use any editor that you like, but since Touch Develop is the official one uh, that the BBC uh, would like to support, then we've created a Python editor for you. And so what we're looking at here is a version of Touch Develop that is running on my local development machine and in Blue Peter style. Here's a script I created earlier called Great Script, and uh, it's a Python script. And so if I click Edit, I'll be taken to the Python editor. Now, the guy who designed the look and feel of this editor, Steve Hawks, is a very talented chap, and his brief was to make the editor look Pythonic and appeal to 11 year olds. And I think he's done quite a good job. Um, we use the blue and gold color scheme of the Python Software Foundation and Python. Um, and what I've done is updated the Chrome um, around the actual editor window, which is here. So the Chrome, um, by the Chrome, I mean the, the buttons and uh, other gubbins that go around the main window. Um, so we have the usual buttons here uh, that you might see on a code editor. Here's the name of the script. Here's a description of the script. Um, on the right hand side, there's a bit of a big change because on the other editors, you usually see the emulator, um, but since Python doesn't use the emulator, we've removed this and given you some helpful instructions. And obviously, most of the screen is taken up by the text editor here. What more can I say than it's a very simple text editor that you'll be able to use for writing Python. Just like that. Um, because we want to make it easy for uh, young learners to type Python, we've implemented some snippets. So if I type a trigger like WH for while and click tab, then the editor will guide you through creating this code fragment so you can start to fill in the gaps. So I press tab again and I can, whoops. It sort of guides me through the creation of various commonly used code fragments. Uh, the other thing that you need to know is that um, I've made the editor um, responsive, um, which means that it will work across different form factor sizes. So at the moment, it looks like it would do in a browser on your desktop. But if I start to drag the window along, um, as the screen width decreases, you'll see that uh, actually the editor itself adjusts so that it will fit on the screen properly. Uh, this needs a little bit of work. It's a bit messy at the moment. And of course, it's not really a good idea to be typing a text-based programming language uh, using a, um, a device that's a bit clunky like a tablet or a mobile phone. Um, so in essence, uh, that's where we've got so far. It's a working Python editor. It's responsive. It looks rather cool. There are certain UI elements designs that Steve has done um, that uh, we've not included yet. So for example, there will be some Pythons here and here to make the UI look a bit more friendly and playful uh, for our young coders. But essentially, that's it. Um, and I'm more than happy to answer any questions you might have.